It is August 8th and I am back with more RPG A Day 2018. Today's topic is how can we get more people playing? And I think the easiest way to get more people playing is to expose a wider range of people to the positive aspects of the RPG hobby and community. Find something that they enjoy doing and then show them that RPGs can, can meet that particular same level of enjoyment. Oh, you really like strategic board games? Well, check out these RPG systems that are very uh, strategic based, crunchy, and tactical focused. Oh, you really like the narrative uh, aspects of RPG computer games? Well, wouldn't it be great if you had a story that was not predetermined by the game programmers and you and your group could go do whatever you wanted in the world? Um, focus on the positive things that come with the hobby and the community. And it's important that with that, you don't just focus on the things that are positive to you, that you find what they uh, feel is positive aspects and show them that the hobby can include that. Um, and by that, I mean more like if you enjoy a certain aspect of the hobby, don't focus solely on that thing because they might not enjoy that. Some folks really enjoy the story focused, deep character driven, social situations, doing voices and that side of the spectrum. Whereas other people just want to have a game night with their friends, have a couple of beers, kill a couple of goblins and make very crude jokes. So find out what the person wants to do and then show them how they can do that using RPGs. The next thing is, is anytime you find someone that's curious and trying, don't just leave it at that. When you find somebody that's curious at trying, do what you can to give them the tools that they need to take that leap into being a player. Oh, you're interested in playing D&D? &D? Oh, well check out the D&D &D subreddit. There's how to get started stuff in the sidebar. Here's where you can find a group on the uh, LFG subreddit or you know the Game4 app or check out these these ways of finding folks. If you don't know local players, you can you can use Roll20 to find yourself some some online gamers. Um, here's the starter set. Here's the free rules. Here's the quick start rules. Depending on whatever system they're interested in, give them the things that they need so that RPGs are not some lofty goal that they need to slog through a bunch of rules to get started. They have a here's what you have to do to get into the hobby checklist um, and then the next thing is is when you have those interested folks or even if you don't have interested folks consider taking up the GM mantle yourself and running a tutorial game for people that have never uh, taken that leap if you have a local game store work with the local game store and see if on a Friday night when there's a bunch of folks in the store. If any of those folks would be interested in signing up for a tutorial one shot of D and D or, or whatever, there's lots of other geeky and nerdy hobbies where people have heard of RPGs, but just haven't had the exposure to them. So you being a, a gateway into the hobby can really help because a lot of times a person will be interested in the hobby but they're not looking to jump straight into being a GM themselves and they don't have a network of people to teach them or to form their own group. So if they can just go somewhere and do a single three to four hour one shot and be like, oh, that's what playing an RPG is like. And you've provided that, that experience to them. They can now go, that is something I want to do, whether it be as a GM or player and then be driven to complete it. Uh, and I, th I think that really sums up my answer. Teach people the, the positive aspects of both the hobby and the community and show them how it's a very uh, flexible and adaptive hobby that if you don't like these things but do like these things, that is what you can do with the hobby. Um, giving people who are curious to try it out the tools that they need to get started so that that 
that initial leap is a shorter distance and then taking it upon yourself to direct people to tutorial sessions, run tutorial sessions yourself, do one shots to expose people to the hobby in general or to new systems or, or whatever you got and just just remember that it's not for everyone so even if you really enjoy RPGs if you if you offer up to someone and they don't seem interested you you don't really need to push it on them you're not some kind of used car salesman who needs to meet a quota if you say hey you want to try out D&D &D, and they say no that's fine too there's no reason to be out there like hey you can get so many crits out of this bad boy <laughs>